Now, crucial to our vaccination effort has been health and hospitals. The hospitals and clinics of health and hospitals have been stellar. That is the word for it, stellar in addressing this crisis. This has been health and hospitals' finest hour, unquestionably, in their whole history. Um, amazing achievements in the fight against COVID. And today, a milestone, a wonderful milestone. Health and hospitals will be giving its one millionth dose of the COVID vaccine. This really shows the reach and the impact of health and hospitals. Thank you to everyone who works for health and hospitals for what you do for this city. It is making extraordinary impact. And look, our public hospitals and clinics overwhelmingly are where the biggest COVID challenges were. They were at the front line. They persevered. Their communities rallied around them. This is a heroic story. When people talk about the fight against COVID and where it was toughest, that's where health and hospitals was. When we talk about fighting disparity and the inequalities in our society, that's what health and hospitals has been doing for generations. And it became clearer than ever in the vaccination effort. Our efforts to bring more and more vaccination equity into play are led by health and hospitals. And they are vaccinating significantly more people of color uh, than other hospitals because of who they are, where they are, the approach they take to the community. So this is a moment to celebrate the incredible impact of health and hospitals. I'm looking forward to honoring so many h, &H employees during our hometown Heroes Parade next month. But now we have a little moment of history that we can all join in together, the one millionth dose. So we're gonna go live right now to Coney Island Hospital and to the CEO of Coney Island, Svetlana Lipanskaya, and she is there with Kira McAvoy, who will be the recipient of the one millionth dose. Kira is 12. One dose. Kira. We had a little feedback there. Okay. Kira is 12 years old, the daughter of a Coney Island Hospital employee, excited to get the vaccine and get her life back to normal. She's going into eighth grade in September and looking forward to going back to school. And among her favorite activities are drama and dance. And we want her to have a great school year. And that begins with getting vaccinated. So I'm going to turn it over now to Svetlana to tell us what's going on out there at Coney Island and to honor this big moment. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good morning and welcome to Coney Island Hospital. We're incredibly excited to be administering the one million dose for New York City Health and Hospitals. Today with us, we have our nurse, Chelsea Whitfield, who will be administering the vaccine to Kira McAvoy, as you mentioned, who's 12 years old. She's here with her parents, uh, Jeff and Adele McAvoy, and as well as administering the second dose to uh, Francisca Lind, uh, who is a 71-year-old resident of South Brooklyn. and is uh, a patient here at Coney Island Hospital. So I'll turn it over to them. Uh, this is a very exciting moment, and thank you so much for letting us participate. All right. right. They're getting ready there. Getting ready right there. Okay, I think and I we are waiting to see the vaccination right now. Okay, everyone now, I'm going to, is Svetlana going to narrate or else I will, that we see now the uh, health and hospitals workers starting to give the vaccines and some good history being made out there in Coney Island. And we're really happy. I want to thank everyone who works at Coney Island Hospital. Um, it is great to see the one millionth dose given by health and hospitals. And to remember that not so long ago, uh, we were just hoping and praying we would have a vaccine, and now we have an over 9 million doses given in the city, 1 million given at health and hospitals alone. 
absolutely amazing. And an example of getting our youngest New Yorkers vaccinated to help them get back to school and live full lives. And finally, as we said, really being clear about the fact that this is how we fight disparity through our public hospitals and clinics that are doing more and more to reach communities uh, with innovative approaches. Uh, this is really making a huge difference. We're going to hear from Dr. Mitch Katz, uh, who's going to talk to us about this overall effort. And I want to emphasize uh, Dr. Katz has really focused on the question of equity and how health and hospitals can be part of the solution. He's going to go over the facts that are quite striking about the role health and hospitals has played uh, as an agent of equity in the vaccination effort. Dr. Katz. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. And I know that you love New York City and Brooklyn history. So I have to tell you, uh, before we talk about the amazing history, um, that my great-great-grandmother, not my grandmother, but my great-great-grandmother was treated at Coney Island Hospital when she broke her hip uh, about 80 years ago. And the treatment at that time was mo uh, uh, immobilization, which they did by putting, uh, we, I see the clapping, and I saw that the one million one dose, that's great. So uh, the treatment at that time was sandbags on the leg to prevent movement so that the fracture would heal. And I always wondered if they got the sand from the beach itself at Coney <laughs> Island. Uh, but uh, talking about today's history, um, that, that you just saw made. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for how you have led us throughout this uh, crisis. Uh, thank you to Svetlana and Coney Island for all their hard work. We are so proud, not only that we're at uh, 1 million vaccinations, but even more importantly, sir, you've talked throughout about our need to address in New York City the terrible disparities that we've seen under COVID. And I'm so proud that in the graph you put up there before, you can see that health and hospitals vaccinated 76% of the people uh, that we vaccinated were people of color. Uh, that compares to the independent hospitals at 73%. They also did a great job, but compared to the hospital systems overall uh, in New York City, they're at 56%. So hugely higher rates of vaccinating people of color for health and hospitals and the independent hospitals. And I think this proves what you've said all along, that public systems are critical to achieving equity. And we're just so proud to be part of it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much, Mitch. Listen, Mitch, you have a lot to be proud of. One million doses just in health and hospitals, hospitals and clinics, really amazing, but also leading the way on equity. Um, this is another example to people of this city. Health and hospitals went through tough times and now has made a stunning comeback, a comeback that really will be the model for the comeback in New York City in so many ways. Health and hospitals is literally stronger than it's ever been at any point in their history, doing amazing work, doing the work of equity, also guaranteeing health care to all New Yorkers. And this is something Mitch and I worked on a lot of years ago. NYC Care, want to keep telling everyone, available to all New Yorkers, regardless of ability to pay, regardless of documentation status. If you're a New Yorker who doesn't have health insurance, doesn't know what to do, or doesn't qualify for health insurance, call 311. Just call 311 and we'll sign you up right away for NYC care through health and hospitals. You'll have a primary care doctor. You'll have all the specialty support you need. Only New York City is doing this in the entire United States of America. And that's because of the leadership of Dr. Katz and the whole team at Health and Hospitals. So thank you very, very much.